In this video, we're going to look at the missed opportunities by the Clippers to even the series in Game 4. Alright, so it's Game 4, Western Conference Finals, Clippers trail Phoenix 2-1, to one. Clippers are home, if they win Game 4, the series is even, however, in the fourth quarter, both teams go through a drought, and the Clippers end up missing a lot of shots that would have given them the lead. We start off with a side out of bounds for the Clippers down by one, 9.45 to go. Batum's going to set a screen for George to curl off of. As the ball goes to George, Zubats begins his roll. This is going to set the defense in, thus meaning Batum can get a nice look from three. George is going to make the pass to Batum. Batum gets a nice look. He misses. It goes in and out. And this is kind of a sign of things to come for the Clippers in this game. Little things really cost the Clippers in this stretch. Predominantly poor decision making or too quick of a decision. As man goes to drive here, it you know we we focus on him, but Paul George is open on the wing. You could kick it back out to him. Man's going to end up resetting this possession, and the Clippers do have time to get another better shot potentially. But a Paul George open three is pretty much the best shot you're going to get in any setting. But by man driving in and not finding George, now the Clippers are late in the shot clock. High screen set by Zoo. He's going to then roll. As Zoo rolls, we're going to highlight Zoo because if the ball goes to Zoo, it could go to Kennard in the corner off of a short roll pass. Instead, George takes the pull up. It's a poor decision. It's another miss. Clippers really did get caught trying to do way too much and not letting the game come to them in this stretch. As Paul George pushes the ball, he has Terrence Mann in the corner and he has Nick Batum in the strong side corner. He also has Luke Kennard trailing. You could pass to Kennard as the trailer and get an open three. Instead, he goes into whatever this is, and it's yet another missed opportunity for the team. This possession really highlights the mistakes that the Clippers made because a lot of it was their own doing. Down screen being set by Zubats for George. As George curls off, he's going to get the ball and drive. Zubats is open on the roll potentially, or Man is open on the kick out back to the top. Instead, George drives into the teeth of the defense. Kennard slides up the wing as a potential passing lane. But George takes this shot. This is heavily contested. It's a bad shot. We can be honest. It's a very bad shot. But Zubats gets the rebound. He's going to get the Clippers a second possession on this one possession. He's going to kick it out, and we're going to see the Clippers run their offense again, which is going to be a Paul George high screen, small ball screen with Luke Kennard. As Kennard comes over, Phoenix is going to switch this. George is going to split the action against campaign, but Payne will knock the ball out of the bounds, and now it's a late shot clock. This is great defense by Phoenix on the baseline out of bounds. Aiton slides over to prevent Mann on the cut downhill. Zubats is going to set the screen, but Bridges is going to shoot the gap to prevent the pass to George, which means the pass has to go to Zubats. He did make mid-range jumpers last year with the Clippers, hasn't taken many this season. He misses it, and the Clippers are really hurting now. On one hand, you have to credit Phoenix for the level of defense they've been able to uh, exemplify in this series. And the Clippers have played great defense too, but Phoenix has done a great job of shrinking the floor. We've heard Ty Lue talk about it. But the Clippers have also been their own worst enemy with poor decisions, especially in this fourth quarter. High screen set by Zoo, he's going to slip it. This was an adjustment the Clippers made in the second half, was having Zoo slip. We see Jackson open in the corner. This skip pass has to be made to Jackson. It's not. So George is going to try to feather a lob pass to Zoo over the top. But the pass isn't good enough, and now it's super late in the shot clock. The Clippers are scrambling. Jackson gets the ball here with under three seconds to go, and he's got to hoist up a three-pointer that has ultimately no chance, and the Clippers just cannot score in the fourth. This final possession is a little frustrating because you can literally get this shot anytime you want. You do not have to force this early in the clock. You can get it whenever. Paul George isolated against Mikael Bridges at the elbow. He's going to jab step with the right to go back to the left. He gets Bridges leaning, but Bridges does a great job to recover to contest the shot attempt. Obviously, George misses. The Clippers just never could take the lead in this game, and it really killed him trying to even the series.